In this video, we're going to teach you how to design a drawer for your cabinet. First of all, there are six pieces to make a drawer. Let's list them. We have two sides, a front and back, which are the same size, a bottom, and a face. To find the overall size that your drawer needs to be, you're going to measure the opening in your face frame. The opening in our face frame for this cabinet is four inches tall and 15 inches wide. The overall size of the drawer itself will be an inch less so that we have half an inch on each side for our drawer guide, for our hardware to slide in. So find the opening, the overall width, subtract half an inch, and that's the overall size of our drawer. So if it's 15 inches for the opening, the drawer will be 14 inches wide. The drawer face will be an inch larger than the drawer opening so that we have a half inch overlay on our face frame. So for the drawer face, on the length, we can put 16 inches. It will also be a half inch wider than the opening. So it will be five inches wide and it will be three fourths of an inch thick. Okay, we have our face. The depth of the drawer you can determine, but usually you're an inch or two shy of the back of the cabinet. So if your cabinet is 15 inches deep, you will use 14 inch drawer guides. The drawer guides go every two inches. So we have 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. For this cabinet, we're gonna use 14 inch drawer guides. So I will go ahead and make the drawer 14 inches deep. So 14 by 14 is the size of our drawer. Okay, with those dimensions figured out, we can start to find the dimensions for these pieces. All the drawer pieces that make up, make up the box of the drawer, we're going to make them 5 eighths of an inch thick. So for our sides and our front and back pieces, we can go ahead and put 5 eighths in for the thickness. The width will also be the same for those pieces. I'm gonna make them three inches wide. Make sure they're at least an inch smaller than our opening so that after you lift it up with the drawer guides, make sure you have enough clearance there. Okay, the length of the sides is easy because these sides go all the way from front to back. And there's a reason for that. We'll explain that. 14 inches for the length of the sides. The reason the sides go all the way front to back, two reasons actually. The first is that you do not want to see the end grain of these pieces on the side of your drawer. That's the side that will be seen. You're not gonna see the front or back. So you don't wanna see any end grain. The second reason is because when you're pulling on the front of this drawer, you're actually shearing against this joint, which is gonna be stronger than if the front piece of the box went all the way across then it would be like you're prying the front of the box off. So instead of pulling the front piece off straight, we actually would have to shear that joint laterally in order to take that off. So that's why your sides will always go front to back. Okay, for the front and back pieces, the total width of our drawer is 14 inches, but we're going to subtract 5 eighths on each side. 5 eighths plus 5 eighths is 1 and 1 fourth. So we take 14 minus 1 and 1 fourth, and we get 12 and 3 fourths. Okay, all we have left is our bottom piece. We can find the inside dimensions, and then we will add 3 eighths of an inch both ways because this bottom is actually going to go in about a quarter of an inch on all sides. So that will be 12 and 3 fourths for inside dimensions. Add 3 eighths to that. We get 13 and 1 eighth. In this case, that will be square, 13 and 1 eighth. 
because our drawer is the same size, 14 by 14. And the thickness of this piece will be one fourth of an inch. We'll use quarter inch MDF for that. Okay, if you struggled following that, it's okay. There's kind of a lot there. Shoot me an email if you have any questions and I can help you. Good luck.